Hi everyone, my name's Emma Percy and I'm an eco artist from Western New York and today I'm demonstrating how to darn a piece of clothing which is essentially repairing the weave in fabric in a place where it's gotten worn out. And this is part of the Radical Fit video series so of course we're not just doing a basic repair but we're also adding some fresh color and texture and it may just be a small detail but this is one little way to give a garment some more character and uniqueness while also making it last longer. So the tools that you'll need are a pair of scissors, an embroidery hoop, two different colors of thread, and I'm using embroidery floss today, but for the piece that I just showed you, I was using just some cotton and hemp string left over from another project. Really, you just want to look for something that's a little bit thicker or a similar thickness to the thread on the garment that you're going to be working on. And last but not least is a sewing needle. All of these supplies you can find at any craft store and you can also find them pretty commonly at thrift stores too. This is the piece that we're going to be working on today. So darning is really best for clothes that don't have a big rip in them yet, but are maybe on their way there. This is just an area that's gotten worn thin. So basically we're going to just be reinforcing the fabric to prevent it from ripping anymore and filling in the space where it is starting to rip. The embroidery hoop has two pieces that just unscrew at the top. Take the middle circle out and put it on the underside of the piece of clothing and then this fits right over the top of that. This will hold it in place while you're working on it without stretching it out too much. Then you can tighten it at the top and pick whichever color of thread you want to use first. Just measure out a few feet, trim it up, Thread one end onto your needle and then in the other end of the thread you're going to tie a double or triple knot to keep it from pulling through. So I'm right-handed so I'm going to be sewing with my right hand and using my left hand inside of the garment to support what I'm working on. And instead of just working on this area that's broken, I'm actually going to start a little bit outside of that so I can cover more area and really just reinforce this so that it doesn't rip anymore. So I'm going to start from behind inside of the fabric. pushing the needle up through and then pull it all the way through and then start by making small stitches in one direction like so you don't want to pull it too tight but just tight enough that the stitches aren't going to be loose Once you get far enough in one direction, you can turn around and start coming back the other way.
When you get to the part where there actually is a hole, you're going to basically make longer stitches that just go fully across that area since there's nothing for you to go over and under. Once you're finished, pull the thread through to the underside of the fabric and then flip it over. Trim your thread and then you can tie another double or triple knot on the back of the fabric. and you can trim off a little more of that excess. Next, you're going to take some of your second color of thread, thread one end onto the needle, and tie a double or triple knot in the other end. Start again from the underside of your fabric, and this time we're going side to side, sewing over and under the stitches that we just made with the first color. You might find it helpful to turn the hoop at this point so that you're not trying to stitch um, against the way that your hand wants to be angled. Once you get to the part of the fabric that's pretty thin, um, again, it's really more just about filling in the space, but you do want to make sure this time that you are going over and under the threads from your first color so that you get a sturdier weave. Once you've finished, you can just, again, pull the thread all the way through to the back. Take the embroidery hoop off.
unthread your needle, flip the fabric over, trim this a little bit shorter so it's easier to work with, and then tie it off in a double or triple knot, holding the loop, pulling, and using your fingernail to keep the knot as close to the fabric as you can. Trim it again. And there you have it. Now this area of the fabric won't get worn out as quickly and it'll be a little more eye-catching and a little fun detail in your outfit. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series and you can follow me on Instagram at Emma Lucille Percy or visit emmapercy.com to see more of my work. Thanks for watching. Bye.